Hey guys, it's Ryan from All Mine Ranch. Back with another video, another project. One of a bazillion projects I've got going on at any given time. So today I'm gonna to build a deck, or at least the frame of a deck. Um, I've got to, this is my tiny house. This is my off-grid homestead. Don't know if you can see it. That's my solar panels and my dog. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I had this deck out in Dallas before I brought the tiny house here and I disassembled it, brought all the wood, and now it's time to reassemble it. It's going to be slightly different size and I have to worry about some plumbing drain lines and that's really about it. Um, I've built a few decks before. You know, I don't necessarily do it the right way, but I do it in a way that works for me. I've established the back two corners and fortunately I have a laser level now that's helped me get everything, you know, level. <laughs> so that helps, although it's very hard to see the green laser, dang it's bright, see the green laser um, in the sun. But anyway, I've got right here four by four posts set on a cement block, another four by four, same thing, set on a block. They're both the same distance from the house. I use this old metal step, um, which has come in very handy many a time, to determine an ideal height. And I use my laser level to get that band level, rim joist, band, whatever you want to call it. That's what I call it, rim joist. Anyway, so now I'm going to start building out the other two, uh, the side rim joists, I guess you could say, and then the back one. And I've got a notch out for the plumbing. You can see my little notch action going right there. So anyway, uh, it's just a basic deck project. If you're building your own off-grid um, homestead or if you have a tiny house, I really recommend a deck because it gives you a good excuse to sit outside and enjoy the weather. And considering this amazing desert view that I have here, I want to sit out here as often as possible. But anyway, deck is a project. Let's get going. Okay, so now that I have the first um, rim joist established, it's a pretty simple matter of just putting a level on the side one and propping it up until I get it level. And then I can just take a quick measurement from the top of the, uh, the side joist down to the base of the cement block. And now I know the height of the four by four um, support corner posts that I have to cut. And then I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. And then, um, just deck screw those rim joists into the corner posts and I'll pretty much have my four corners established. Then I'll, you know, pull a diagonal measurement, make sure the whole thing is square and I've got the basic uh, setup. Then it's just a matter of filling in the, uh, the support floor joists, which are actually only going to be two by fours because that's what I used out in Dallas and it worked pretty well um, since I'm not putting a ton of weight on the deck and it's only temporary theoretically. So let's uh, see how that step looks. All right, I'm back. <laughs> we have the start of a deck. I've got my four corners established. I pulled measurements diagonally to make sure it's a true rectangle, and it is. Took a little bit of work down here on this corner to get that to the right height, but I used a scissor jack for my RV, jacked basically the corner up, leveled it out, put the stone back, that supporting block underneath it, and then lowered it back, made some a few adjustments, took a little work, but basically I have just a square deck or the outside box of a square deck. I've got two by fours that are gonna go across and over on this end, these two boards laying right here, Stanley, oh, hi Stan, these are going to be uh, a ramp. So right off this side, I'm gonna have a ramp coming down, actually on both sides. So when I just come out of the house and walk down the ramp, like an old man, so I don't have to do any steps. I will have one step, I think right here, going up into the tiny house that I'll just sit on top of the deck. Um, but that's about it. So I made a good start. It was a little frustrating at times, um, but the plumbing is underneath it. I need to do some strapping to hold this uh, drain pipe up a little bit. But next thing I'm gonna do is attach a, uh, a band on the outside to act as a lip to put the ramp um, side boards on. I don't know what you call those. The, the frame of the ramp is next. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'll take some pics and show you how that goes.
Hey guys, I'm back. All right, my deck came uh, came out pretty well. It's not done yet. In fact, I'll show you the next phase. But um, I got the basic deck built. I got a ramp on it. You can see this here. Um, I've done a basic sanding on it. It's used lumber, so a little beat up. What I did is I took the, uh, the underside of the boards from the deck that I had out in Dallas and flipped them right side up. <laughs> so it kind of worked. Um, it gives me an area to sit now. So I've got a little side table and two chairs and an outdoor rug that's been rolled up for a while. It's all wavy. So the next phase of this though, is to put a bench on it. Cause I want to have, you know, sort of an area for potted plants and succulents and whatnot. And so I'm going to do a bench where those things are. And I also have these two doors. These are the doors that were off of my shed. Sorry about the light. It's always a challenge out here. Um, these are off of my shed out in Dallas and they've been laying around with no real use. So I've decided I want a privacy fence on this deck, on this side of it, because over here is a road. And uh, if I want to lay out on the deck naked or do who knows what, it'd be nice to have a little bit of privacy. So I'm going to take these two doors and repurpose them and turn them into a fence. So I've got some 4 by 4s here that I'm going to attach to the edge of the deck. I have to trim off the edge of these boards. I don't know if you can see this. But the boards, I trimmed them already. They stick out a little bit. I need that to be flush so I can then mount two four by fours. And then I'm gonna take the doors and turn them sideways, make some adjustments to them, take the hinges off, etc., and basically build a little wall off this side of the deck. So let's see how this piece of it goes. Okay, I got my two support posts mounted. As you can see, I notched them out right there. Can you see that? Maybe better from this side, like that. And now I'm putting up the first panel, but the boards, the cedar boards that make up each panel have shrunk over time. And so there's gaps in them. You can see sunlight through the cracks there. So I'm taking the screws out and I'm lowering them all about half a centimeter, you know, over the course of five courses, that'll actually lower the top board by, you know, three quarters of an inch or so, an inch. And hopefully it'll close most of those gaps. And I'm gonna put my second panel up above it, do the same thing, then I'm gonna sand the whole thing, reinforce it a little, stain it, etc. But you, you get the idea. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'll show you what it looks like after I get the second panel on. kids that about does it for this week at all mine ranch thanks so much for watching and don't forget to buy the freaking dip